welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing the next part in my Swatch My Collection series. I am continuing on with my picture polish collection. I know I think I said in my last video that I had two videos after that, but looking at my shelf right now, I have two videos after this. I keep buying picture polish. I don't know why. <laughs> it's a serious problem, um, but I keep buying them, so i am got to keep putting the videos out before moving on to other brands. So I'm sorry if that's uh, something you don't enjoy but I'm really enjoying trying all my picture polish shades. Today I have 10 shades to look at. I will leave in the description box below their site, their Instagram page, as well as my Instagram page where you can see more swatches of everything from today's video. So let's go ahead and get started with Cabaret. This is a beautiful ox bloody deep purpley red. It does have silver glitter of small, like super duper duper micro um, circular silver glitters as well as uh, cir hex hollow larger glitters and then it does have that hollow flaky that picture polish puts in a lot of their shades. This had a great two coat formula. Easy to use, easy to apply, easy to work with. Picture polish is kind of consistent in that way so I do say it in every one of my videos just about um, but this one was really good. You get complete opacity in two coats. Those glitters layer upon each other making like a jelly sandwich effect so it changes the color of the silver glitters a little bit per each layer and it's really really beautiful so so I do love this and in my swatch video you're going to see two coats of cabaret and a glossy top coat. Up next we have wine and this is a deep berry wine shade. It does lean towards that purpley red shade and it does have those silver hollow micro flakies that picture polish puts in a lot of their shades. This has a great formula completely opaque in two coats. Those hollow flakies are flakies, they're not glitter, they're not going to dry texture, they're not going to be difficult to remove. They just add a dimensional look to your nail without that obnoxious glitter removal that nobody really enjoys. Again, another great formula. In my swatch photo you're going to see two coats of wine and a glossy top coat. Moving on, we have Hollow Berries and this is a bright Christmassy red and it is absolutely loaded with silver hollow glitter. I believe it may be gold hollow glitter, but the fact that it's in a red jelly base makes it look tinted different shades. So it's either gold or red. And then as you build it up, it has that same effect that Cabaret has where it can make those glitters look tinted red and it looks really beautiful and dimensional. This had another great formula, completely opaque in two coats. This one is going to dry textured, so you will want a nice glossy top coat to finish it off. And then it's going to be pretty hard to remove because there's so much glitter happening in here. Completely worth it, um, but if you think about it ahead of time, I would recommend a peel-off base coat. I didn't use a peel-off base coat. I was scrubbing for a hot second, but it was so worth it. It was so beautiful. So in my swatch photo, you're going to see two coats of hollow berries and a glossy top coat. Moving on, we have Scarlet, and this is a beautiful pink base. It's got a pink shimmer, and then it does have those hollow micro flakies. This was one of my first picture polish purchases, and it was because I was hoping that my son Cooper was going to be a girl. It was before I was even pregnant. I, we were planning on being pregnant, and if it was a girl, we were going to name her Scarlet. One of the main reasons I picked this one up, I picked this up the same time I picked up Bridget, and that was my very first picture polish purchase. Um, but I really, really like this one. It does have a great two coat formula, easy to use, no running, pooling, staining, anything of that sort. This one also dries smooth and glossy on its own. You will want a top coat if you want it to last any length of time, but it does dry decent on its own if you have to kind of get it and go. Completely opaque in two coats. Nothing in here is going to stick to your nails or be hard to remove. So in my swatch photo, you're going to see two coats of scarlet and a glossy top coat. So he is not having it <laughs> while I'm recording, so he's just going to have to be here with me for the rest of the video if that's okay. Is that okay? So moving on, we're going to talk about a couple of their cream polishes. Up first we have Sunset, and this is a bright, corally, almost jelly shade. It is completely opaque in two coats for me, depending on your application and preference. You may want to go in for a third coat if you have a super prominent nail line as well. This has a nice, good, squishy formula, easy to use, easy to work with. It doesn't stain or anything like that. This one also dries really glossy and beautifully on its own, but in my swatch photo, you're going to see two coats of Sunset and a glossy top coat. So up next we have Watermelon, and this is a brighter pink cream. 
cream. This one is a cream. The other one was more of a jelly. This one also has a great two coat formula. No complaints across the board on the formula here. This one also dries very glossy on its own. It doesn't stain or anything like that. And obviously it's not going to be difficult to take off. So in my swatch photo, you're going to see two coats of watermelon and a glossy top coat. So on top of watermelon, I used Mardi Gras, and this is a clear base. It does have silver, pink, and blue glitter in a bunch of different sizes. Well, the pink, the blue, and the larger silver are all the same size, and then there's a smaller um, silver micro glitter in there. This has a good formula. It's, it's easy to use as in no running or pulling. I would recommend this actually building it up on its own. I liked it as a topper. Um, but it was there's so much glitter that comes out that it could be built up on its own probably in two maybe three coats but I would personally use that as more of an accent nail than a full manicure this one is going to dry very very textured especially if you build it up on your own and it's going to be very very difficult to take off but in my swatch photo you're going to see one coat of Mardi Gras over a watermelon and a glossy top coat Moving on, we have Foxy. I've worn this so many times, I've never shared it. It's this dusty, burnt orange shade with those silver hollow micro glitters. This is absolute perfection. Um, very beautiful manicure, very fall appropriate. I'm so ready for fall manicures. This has a perfect two coat formula, no complaints on the formula. It's got that flaky formula, so it's not gonna dry textured and it's not gonna be difficult to remove. It also dries decently glossy on its own. So if you have to manicure and go, this is a really, really good option. So in my swatch photo, you're going to see two coats of Foxy and a glossy top coat. Hi. You look so doggone confused. So up next, we have Crazy, and this is a bright neon yellow cream. This has a good formula. It doesn't need a white base, which I really, really appreciate in a neon. It is a little bit streaky on application, um, but it is buildable. It does take three coats to be completely opaque and streak free, and you do have to work in a little bit thicker coats to achieve that, but it is really, really beautiful on the nail. I tend to stain with yellow more than anything. Blues don't really stain me, greens don't really stain me. It's usually the yellows that get me. Now this one didn't stain my nail, but it definitely stained the skin around my nail when I was taking it off. So just bear that in mind, if you're a yellow stainer as well, this one might get your skin. This one also dries matte, so if you don't like that finish, you will want a nice glossy top coat. And in my swatch photo, you're going to see three coats of Crazy in a glossy top coat. And then lastly for today, we have Sunflower, and this is this mustardy but bright yellow shade. It does have those silver hollow micro flakies in there. It's a perfect formula, completely opaque in two coats, no complaints there. This one though did stain my nails. Um, it's, it didn't stain the skin around my nails, but it did stain my nails. I did do a little bit of scrubbing to try to get that off, but I didn't want to buff off too much of my nails, so I, I'm not too worried about it, but it is there. This one is also going to dry relatively glossy on its own. You will want a glossy top coat if you want it to last any length of time. And the flakies in here aren't going to dry textured and they're not going to be difficult to remove. So in my swatch photo, you're going to see two coats of sunflower in a glossy top coat. And that is it. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of these polishes. Let me know if you plan on picking any of them up. Let me know what your favorites were. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me. And I will talk to you again next time.